Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be taking the deck that we pulled out of the STI, this one that has a cassette adapter, and seeing if it fits in the Forester. I think it should. They all online say they have the exact same plugs, so these right here. And you might be thinking, why am I going to take the same, pretty much the same deck and put it in the Forester? Well, this actually has a cassette, as you can see, and with a cassette you can use an adapter to plug in an aux cord, and therefore you can actually have an aux input on your deck where the Forcers only got a CD changer in it and a radio. Of course the day I don't have time to take pictures, look at this weather. It is beautiful, there's no rain in the forecast today, so I could have taken pictures, but I don't have time. So anyways, if we're looking at the center console on the Forster, we're gonna have to do the same thing me and David did. So you pop out down here, and then pretty much this whole thing kind of just pops right out. It's not too difficult, and then we're gonna be trying to take this out and plugging in the STI deck. Um, they are both doubled in so they should slot right into place. So you have to get this in a different gear actually to move this panel out. So all you do is you put your parking brake on and then just put it into like third gear. And then you can pop it right off. Once you have it in a different gear just put it back in park. And there you go, you got your first piece out. Super super easy. I'm not even going to undo the plugs because all we got to do is do some Phillips and then pry this out and then switch over the bracket and we should be good to go. And once you have this screw and this screw undone, you can pretty much just pry it out with a little bit of force and your climate control will pop out and same will this little piece up top. I'm just going to use two hands so I don't break it. And once that is removed, you can now just take these four bolts off and you're actually ready to remove the whole deck itself. Removed, you can slide the deck right out. There we go, the only thing that was giving me trouble is this little guy right here. It's like a grounding clip that goes on the bottom of the bracket right there. But there's one thing that's not on the STI. It's this like four prong, six prong cable. We don't have that on the STI. So what I'm gonna do is plug in the STI one and see if it works. If it works, we're gonna put it in without plugging this in. So here's a comparison. So this is the Forster deck and this is the STI deck. So honestly, they're pretty close to the same. They actually got the same markings, so that's all good. The only difference is the lack of this plug right here. I'm not sure if it's going to give us any issues or not, but we'll see. Um, the rest, it's got your antenna, antenna, and your big, however many prong that is. There's also, I think, this in the Forester, so maybe if we put that in, it adds some features. <laughs> I don't know what features are going to be added in a deck that was made in July of 2003. Hey, this was made in July, this was made in June. That's how close the cars are together. But just to make sure that the deck works, we're not even going to move the brackets on yet, we're just going to take the STI deck, plug it in, see if it works. If it works, awesome, and we're all good to go. The one cable that is plugged in that needs to be plugged in is plugged in, so we should be good to go. Put in the key. So let's see, power on. Okay, it has power. Let's go to tape play. Okay, the tape is in. Oh, I didn't like that. Maybe it has to go in the other way. There we go. Okay, so the tape is technically playing, so let's plug in some music and see if it works. It works, yes, awesome. Just like that, we have an aux for the Forster until I get the new deck. But that was relatively easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this out again, put on the brackets, give it a little clean, clean up in there, and then mount it back in. And that will probably be only an hour and a half to get that all ready to go, which is pretty good. Especially when it was 100% for free, and I just had to use some old parts. That's why I never throw out um, Subaru parts, because they're pretty much like Lego. You can put different Subaru parts in different Subarus. Even if they're for different consumers and a different market altogether, the STI being a performance vehicle and the Forester being your daily utility vehicle. Now I just have to swap the brackets off of the Forester one, so the one's right here, and there's a little one in the back, and put it on the STI one, and then we should be good to mount it back. reinforces that the Subarus or Lego part again look at this is the bracket off the Forester on the SCI deck literally exact same holes and I actually use the exact same bolts it's literally the same thing and there we go the Forester deck the STI deck. I'm just going to do a quick wipe around on all of it and then we're ready to put it in so as you can tell 
pretty much the same thing and all the brackets fit up perfectly so it's pretty much the exact same thing. This just has a cassette. Also I noticed the STI deck actually has a Subaru badge on it where this one does not. I'm probably losing this weather band receiver, whatever that is. I just gave everything a little wipe down like the vents and all the brackets that had a bunch of dust on it. So now it is time to put the deck in and it should be just as easy as taking it out. And there we go, the deck is in. Now just the time to screw it back in and we're actually all done. Now that we have the one, two, three, and four bolts in, now we just gotta put in the faceplate and we're all done. And just like that, we have the new deck. Then we can put our cassette adapter in and we now have an aux cord, which is exactly what I wanted. So there we go, we took the deck out of the 04 STI that I had laying around and implanted it in the 04 Forcer, which I guess makes sense um, because Subarus are built just like Legos. Anyways, I did that because I wanted an aux cord and the deck that came with the Forcer only had a CD changer and FM radio. So there we go, we now have aux in this and it will be probably only for a couple months till I get a new deck for the Forcer. Anyways, that is it for today because I have to go to work, but until next time, peace out and stay humble. Oh.